by Deacon Jones is a Rams All-Pro. His stock and trade is quickness, and his goal is the quarterback's head. In 14 NFL seasons, David Deacon Jones played for the Rams, Chargers, and Redskins. A five-time first-team All-Pro, Jones's most effective pass rushing maneuver was the head slap. John was the guy that shouldn't have been. A lot of people was telling him, you don't play in the league, you're too slow. None of that resonated to John. Barry Sanders, the former Lions running back, who no one could ever get a good angle on. John Lynch laid a hit on him once that Barry Sanders said it was the hardest he'd ever been hit on a football field. He once said, Jerry, there's never been a good tackle ever in the history of the league below the eyebrows. I perfect my own way of tackling people. Just when they've been able to bowl me over, I would rip them and stop them right in the tracks. He was the first guy to tackle with the face mask. The play wasn't successful unless he ripped your helmet off. So they made a rule. He then became what was called the night train lane necktie tackle. It was a clothesline. They then said the clothesline was illegal. You cannot do that. So then he decided that he would take his forearm, and as you came and he went to attack you, he would try to bust you. And he once said, if I could hit the man so hard and broke my arm, that would be a great play. Reign of terror ended with a single collision. I mean, it was it was wow. That was one of the greatest hits that I've ever seen. And a Christian Okoye, for the first time in his life, went backwards. He stood over the guy and talked to him. He just seemed to make every tackle. If the best player in the middle of the field is making all the plays on the best team, maybe this is the best defender in the league. On a team of the decade, I don't know even who's number two for the idea of being the middle linebacker on that roster. running for some football tonight. There's just time and time again where he ran guys down and made plays that you didn't think was possible. Ray Lewis caused the fumble and recovered the fumble. What a great play chasing him down. No wasted movement. Body position, leverage, the explosion uh, of a cobra. What determines who's better or not is the heart. Am I just trying to get that to make a play? Or am I trying to get that to break your will? Tatum made his mark as the unit's enforcer. I play a hard-hitting game. I just like to uh, have receivers think about me a little bit while they're trying to catch the ball. Football was different back then. A lot of his hits were legal that would not be legal today. Jack Tatum was a great tackler, and some called him a dirty tackler, and I, I, I won't do that. I, I don't think he is. I think it's a big factor if you can get a receiver thinking about you, but then he can't be concentrating on you and the ball at the same time. Jack Tatum wanted to be known as the one guy to ever play the game. Maybe Tatum's biggest hit came on football's biggest stage when, in Super Bowl XI, he launched into the Vikings' Sammy White. Great hit, wasn't it? That right there alone should put Jack at number one. Have you ever seen that in football? 
Guy gets hit so hard his equipment comes off. To the right, to the 20, 25, 30, off to the races, 40, 45, 50. A terrific block. I think it was by Sean Taylor. Man, he just decked one of the lines, and the guy's out. Well, you... The right, Bledsoe back to pass, steps up, going deep. Caught, oh, T.O. is leveled by Sean Taylor, and he's slow getting up. He remember coming across the middle at FedEx Field. And Sean Taylor hitting him in the face with a forearm. That's what he remembers. What I've seen him nice the first shot. half, he's dropped three. Yeah. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Brian Mormon is going to fake it on the run, and he's going to come up short. Oh! Oh, Sean Taylor. Fake. It might be he just decided to run with it, but Sean Taylor came from about 30 yards back. And just ran right to ran or two and through. Whether it was his decision or not, guess Brian Dawkins has two personalities and two lockers. One is for the six-time Pro Bowl safety of the Eagles. The other is for his alter ego, a Weapon X superhero named the Wolverine. He was a destroyer. I think he realized that, you know, that to really play this game at the level and to be recognized as one of the best ever, you have to have a little bit of craze inside you. When you go play the game of football, it's a violent game. Can you be psychotic and yet under control? Can you be neurotic? and yet under control. He wanted to hurt you. He wanted to hurt your family that was listening. <laughs> he, he wanted the entire family to be upset and worried. I mean, that's just the way he played. He would sacrifice his body. made big things happen when he hit people. I mean, that's the one thing that he could do to change the game. It was just awesome. So you had to get him blocked because he's gonna make a play from sideline to sideline. Push him around, he was gonna turn around and he was ready to be combative. I never examined his inner thoughts and didn't talk to him about those things, but if he could intimidate somebody, he was going to do that because he could. <laughs> <laughs>